Hey, hey, y'all, what's up? We're on lesson 84 today. Let's do some addition rules and stuff like that. Well, you tell me, what's the addition rule for equations? If you, do, if you add something to one side of an equation, what do you do? You add it to the other side, right? That's all. And that's always been, you know, it's always going to be the same thing for you. Whether you're doing this, I mean, eventually one of these days when you're doing some college math or calculus or trigonometry or something like that, you're still going to be using the same old rules when you're doing all these different complicated things compared to what we're doing now. So just make sure you know it. All right, let's solve this. The addition rule, of course, when we have a positive 5 sitting next to that x, we don't want it. We're going to subtract 5 here. We subtract 5 here. We have just x left over, and we have 7 minus 5 on the right side. There you go. Okay. Now, you know, it doesn't matter if there's fractions there or what. You just, it, you, you have a principle. The principle is if you add or subtract something from one side, you add and subtract the same thing from the other side. It doesn't change just because there's fractions or decimals. Who cares? We have, an, we have a principle that we follow. Doesn't matter what these are fractions or integers or decimals or whatever. Who cares? We have a principle. All right, let's do it. So here we're going to get rid of the one half from this side and we're going to get rid of the one half from this side. So let's go ahead and put this in two fourths, right? Same thing. So we have two x over here. Then we have three fourths minus one fourth, which is one fourth. Okay. The last thing we need to do is to divide by two, right? Now dividing by two is the same thing as multiplying by one half. But let's just say you didn't remember that. You know the answer is going to be x there. We're going to divide by two, right? Or two over one. Well, you know the rule. When you when you go a quarter mi or divided by two over one, that's the same thing as a quarter times one over two, right? So x is going to be one times one up top, two times four on bottom. There we go. Okay, that's all there is to it. Okay, negative coefficients. First off, you tell me if I have um, I don't know ten x. What's x called? Since it can vary based on values. It's a variable, right? This is the coefficient to the 10, all right? Now we might have negative coefficients. In other words, we might have an equation. They say, solve this. Negative 10x is equal to 50, okay? You, how do you treat things? Exactly the same way you've always done. In other words, what would you multiply, or excuse me, what would you divide both of these sides by to get the answer? You know you want how many x's right there? You want one, right? Positive one. Okay, so you're going to divide this by negative 10. Well, the rule is, of course, if you divide the left side by negative 10, then you divide the right side by negative 10. All right, this of course is gone. Well, you know 50 divided by 10 is five, but the question is, what's a positive divided by a negative? And you know the rule, right? If it's the, you're dividing or multiplying and there are different signs, the answer is negative, so your answer will be negative five. That's all there is to it. So let's do one. Negative two x is equal to four. Now you, you're gonna get to a point where you got, you got this really quickly, boom. But let's just do it, let's pretend like you didn't do it, you didn't know, and so we're gonna do it the old fashioned long way, okay? So we, without even thinking, we just go, oh, immediately divide by negative two, divide by negative two. We know that's gone, so we have just an x. We have a positive four divided by negative two, opposite signs, so the answer is negative. That's all there is to it, there you go. Okay, here's another one. Copy and, you know, and pause it and copy if you need to. Same thing, we're gonna divide by negative three, divide by negative three, that's gone, we have an x. Well, what is negative 12 divided by negative three? Well, first off, logically, the, the answer is, how many negative threes fit into negative 12? And the answer is, there are four of them, so that's it. Or, if you want to think of it this way, is going, okay, well, I'm dividing, and they both have the same sign, so the answer is positive. Eh, fine. Do it that way. Okay. All right. Here's another one. Let's try this one. Copy and paste. Or, copy and paste. <laughs> Pause it and copy, and uh, we'll look at it in a sec here. Okay. All right. Well, the first thing you want to do is not to divide. Remember, the order of operations flips when you're uh, doing equations like this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go, I'm going to subtract 4 here, and I'm going to subtract 4 here. So, you, there we go. I have a negative 3x is all that's left, and then I have 10 minus 4 is 6. Okay, now I have one, left thing, one last thing to do, which is to divide by negative 3, to divide by negative 3. All right, and that's an x, of course. Those go away. What's positive 6 divided by negative 3? Negative 2. There you go. That's all there is to it. Okay. All right. Let's look at properties of equality. Don't, don't get too caught up in this. Um, you don't need to copy this all down. It's just, it's okay. The addition property of equality says that if a is equal to b, 
then a plus c is equal to b plus c. All right. In other words, if this is equal to that, then if you add the same to two different sides that are the same, the answer will be the same as well. Subtraction, it's the same thing. In other words, if this is the same as that, if you subtract the same number from both sides, well, no big surprise, you're going to get the same number. All right. Multiplication property of equality, if a is equal to b, then if you multiply, in other words, if that is the same as that, then if you multiply by this same number twice, you'll get the same product. Big whoop. Okay. Same thing with division. If you have the same numbers, you divide by the same number, you'll get the same number. Okay. And they'll go, which property of equality do we use in solving this equation? This is the addition property, right? Because you're going to add four to both sides to get this. Okay. It's really not that terribly important. Okay. But anyway, just as a, I guess a, a kind of a rehash of what we are learning about adding one side to an equation, add the other side to an equation. If you multiply by something with one side of the equation, do the same thing. Divide by the same thing. Okay, try page 264 of those practice problems. Pause it and try A first. Okay, let's first off, we need to subtract the 5. Subtract the 5. So we have a new equation that's negative 2x is equal to 9 minus 5. Last thing, divide by negative 2. Divide by negative 2, just to clean up, you know, that there. And so x is going to be positive 4 divided by negative 2, which is negative 2. There you go. Okay. Pause it and try B. Okie doke. And we're going to subtract a half from both sides, which, you know what, let's go ahead and, you know, turn this into 4 eighths, right? That's the same thing, right? So we have 3 eighths minus 4 eighths on this side. Ooh, isn't that tricky? How about that? Okay. So 3 eighths minus 4 eighths would be the same thing as 3 minus 4, or negative 1, 8. There you go. Okay. So we'll have our new equation here. It's negative 3x is equal to negative 1, 8. All right. That makes sense so far? Okay. Now, don't get, don't get complicated. The cube. Just do exactly what you've always done. You divide by negative 3, and then divide by negative 3. And then x is going to be x now. Now you have a new problem. Now if you want to write this in a different way, go right ahead. Okay, we have negative 1 8th and we have divided by negative 3. Let's just call it negative 3 over 1. Is that okay? Okay, and we know what to do next. If we divide fractions, we multiply by 1 over negative 3. Okay, in other words, this chunk here is negative. This chunk here is also negative because a positive divided by negative is a negative. So in fact, if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and make, oops, you could make, yeah, I gave away a lot of secrets there, didn't I? Um, you could make this into this instead. You could go, that's going to be a negative one third. Well, now we know a negative something times a negative something is a positive. So our answer will be negative. All right. So one times one across is one. Eight times three is 83. No, it's not. It's 24. Okay. So the answer is 1 24th, positive 1 24th. Okay. And that should do it for today. All right. I will see you guys next time. Do the good job on those today. Try to get like 25 right or so on today's stuff. All right. See y'all.